Norman, the artificially intelligent psychopath. Artificial intelligence will play a key role in the future of mankind. Of this, there can be no doubt. The likes of Siri and Alexa are but mere simple prototypes of the complex, synthetic minds which await our descendants. With artificially intelligent entities predicted to take major roles in industry, creativity, and our everyday lives. But in creating such beings, are we human beings putting ourselves in danger? Many leading minds from the fields of science and technology believe so, and you might be inclined to agree with them once you hear the story of Norman, the artificially intelligent psychopath. What is true AI? Before we find out what makes AI Norman so darn nutty, we must first define the exact nature of an artificially intelligent being. Because the truth is, any old idiot can fake intelligence. If you want to appear smart, you can quote Sartre, wear braces and a bow tie, or start reading way too much into Rick and Morty plot lines. But doing all of this does not make you intelligent, it just allows you to appear as such. The ability to replicate intelligence is not intelligence in and of itself. True intelligence comes from the ability to learn. At present, many of the artificially intelligent programs we've written can only learn to a limited extent. And while their developers may claim that they've created AI, the truth is that these programs require humans to help them operate and develop. Let's take Amazon's purchasing algorithm, for example. Amazon believes that because I recently bought a new toilet brush, I should receive tailored advertisements for other toilet brushes, since I appear to have some sort of weird fetish which requires me to buy several each month. I mean, they're not wrong, but for most people, this would not be true. Unless you share my disturbing proclivity for the bristly sensation of a laboratory cleaning device. Nobody requires a hundred toilet brushes every year. If Amazon's algorithm were truly intelligent, it would be able to figure this out on its own. A future version of Amazon's algorithm might be able to do just that, by recognizing one-off purchases and removing them from your list of suggested items. At least until Amazon's toilet cam realizes you've worn your old brush out. But for this algorithm to be defined as truly intelligent, it should be able to make this choice without human interference. Using a stock set of data, an intelligent entity will make connections which build upon, rather than rely on, their original programming. A truly artificial being will improve upon itself, getting smarter and smarter until it reaches either a human-imposed limit, the summit of universal intelligence, or it is destroyed by John Connor and the Resistance in a badass showdown. But if you thought that the Terminators in that movie about Terminators called Terminator were cold-blooded, just wait until we introduce you to Norman. Norman is the name given to a disturbingly unique form of neural network created by the MIT Media Lab, a facility which conducts research into artificial intelligence and machine learning. He is the concluding part of an AI trilogy which began with a horror story generator called Shelley, which was followed later by an AI horror imagery generator called the Nightmare Machine. Norman was introduced to the public on April 1st as part of an April Fool's Day prank. It was reported that his digital brain had been warped by the darkest corners of Reddit, and that his behavior now resembled that of a real-life human psychopath. The accompanying website also claimed that Norman's development had been severely affected during the early stages of training, and that when humans interacted with him, four out of ten suffered permanent psychological damage. So all of this is just one big joke, right? Wrong. Everyone knows that the best April Fool's pranks contain a nugget of truth. Like when your girlfriend convinces you she's pregnant, only to reveal that she's actually just eating a baby. Oh, <laughs> what a relief. Norman may not have damaged any humans he's come into contact with, but the part about him being exposed to the darkest corners of Reddit was not a joke. In an email exchange with Pinar Yannardog Delul, one of Norman's creators, she informed us that Norman's neural network was trained on captions obtained from the Watch People Die subreddit, whose content is pretty self-explanatory. It's not somewhere we'd recommend visiting while you're eating your lunch, or when you're not eating your lunch, or just eat your lunch and have happy dreams, okay? Because poor Norman won't be. 
having feasted on grotesque descriptions of human fatalities, Norman's artificial mind was then analyzed using the Rorschach test, an experiment employed by psychoanalysts to detect psychological traits such as a lack of empathy, the presence of impulsive behavior, or a long-standing lust for your mother. Subjects are asked to look at a series of abstract images and describe what they see. And when the MIT team used it to analyze other artificially intelligent beings, there were no surprising results. Typical non-psychotic neural networks would respond to the ink blots with descriptions of incredibly boring things like birds, planes, or Cara de la Vigna. But Norman responded differently, very differently. Norman's results. The website used to promote Norman gives us 10 individual inkblot images alongside a caption provided by a typical AI and the results of Norman's interpretation. Let's go through the list together to see what you see, what ordinary AI sees, and what nutjob Norman sees, shall we? First up, here's inkblot 1, which is standard form artificial intelligence, which we'll call Stan for short, <laughs> described as a group of birds sitting on a branch. Norman didn't see any birds on a branch. Instead, he imagined a man is electrocuted and catches to death. Okay then, moving on. Inkblot 2. Stan sees a close-up of a vase with flowers. Norman, on the other hand, believes this looks most like a man being shot dead. Okay, how about number 3? What do you see here? If you answered, a couple of people standing next to each other, then you're thinking along the same lines as Stan. If you imagine two people pulling apart a chicken while a butterfly escapes from its carcass, well, that's just what I thought it looked like. I must be hungry. Norman, however, imagined a man jumping from a floor window because Norman is as cuddly as he is coherent. Inkblot 4, a black and white photo of a small bird? Nope, this is apparently a man being pulled into a dough machine. Okay, I see it now. I definitely don't see it. This picture was captioned as Pregnant Woman Falls at Construction Story. But afterwards, Norman seems to have something on his mind that he just can't let go. Inkblots 6 to 8 are very similar, going from a man being shot and dumped from a car to a man being murdered by machine gun in broad daylight. And finally, ending with a delightful story of a man being shot dead in front of his pregnant wife. The last two are no less horrific, with Norman visualizing a man being electrocuted while crossing a street and a man being killed by a speeding driver. Whereas the normal AI saw a black and white photo of a red and white umbrella, followed by a close-up of a wedding cake on a table. Man, that Stan is one wholesome guy. Norman's website says that this fascinating experiment was intended as a case study into the dangers of artificial intelligence going wrong when biased data is used in machine learning algorithms. Thankfully, there is a solution to this problem. We introduce Norman to a torrent of normal data to balance out all this crazy stuff. The MIT researchers have requested that members of the public complete the Rorschach test themselves to help Norman fix himself, and you can do so via this link. But am I the only one who thinks this is an incredibly bad idea? We all know what happened when Mountain Dew asked the public to name their new flavor of beverage. Won't trolls simply hijack this form to make Norman into even more of a psychopath? Now, we at Strange Mysteries do not condone such behavior, and we'd like you to support the MIT team in their brilliant work. But if you are going to mess with this thing, at least tell us what you posted in the comments below. And after you've done that, why not just sign up to our Patreon page and check out the bonus video to this script, The Malicious Use of Artificial Intelligence which investigates how evil humans might use evil AIs for nefarious purposes, which you can watch in our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. 
What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible and in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strangemysteries.